Hello everyone, this is the Swedish Game Dev with another short GDevelop tutorial. I will show you how to use the new spawner object to make an enemy spawner and I will show you here what we are going to create. We have a very simple scene uh, with a player object and an object spawner that spawns enemies towards us and the enemies also deletes the player. Game over and that is what we will be creating today. To create this enemy spawner we're going to use one of the great benefits of using gdevelop which is that there's lots of things ready made for us just to use and uh, there is no need for much coding. And one thing we will be using is some made extensions that are behaviors that you can download and install into your projects. And you find them by going to the project manager up here in the left corner you click it and then you click search for new extensions and if you don't see this click functions and behaviors and click search for new extensions and in here we will first search for bullet we need a bullet behavior we want our enemy to move uh, across the screen without much coding so we will install linear movement so install that into your project and we also want the enemy to be deleted when they are off screen because otherwise they will eat memory for your, from your computer and will also help us to time the spawning of the enemy so search for screen and then uh, install object is on screen detection this extension helps us to test if an enemy is on screen or off screen and last but not least we need the spawner behavior so search for spawner and we have the object spawner and it does exactly what it says it will do it will spawn an object periodically and there's text here explaining it more but you can check that out on your own so we will install it in the project just to keep this tutorial short and sweet okay now we have all the extensions that we need for this project and uh, we're gonna drag and drop our player and he has already the uh, platformer uh, controller uh, uh, behavior installed in him and uh, I think you know how that works if you don't search for platformer gdevelop and you will find it here on YouTube and we also need our platform and it's just a tiled sprite that has the platform behavior installed in it and uh, that's also very uh, easy to find on YouTube so search if you don't know where it is we'll also turn on the grid that makes things easier to place okay we will place our spawner and if we play now nothing happens nothing will spawn and that is because we haven't given uh, the spawner object uh, a behavior the behavior it needs to spawn so uh, first we will start with our enemy we will double click it to open it and we'll click the behaviors add behavior and we will add we, we don't have to program it we will just add linear movement and you might be familiar with the x and y axis in games and in math the x axis is this way and the y axis is this way and if we put positive numbers on the x axis it will move to the right and if, if we put negative numbers on the x axis it will move to the left and we want this enemy to move to the left so we'll put this to negative 100 okay now if we drag and drop our enemy you will see that he will move on his own to the left uh, and there is one problem he moves to the left and we can't see him but he's continuing to his movement over here and will do so forever and chug the computer's memory so you want him to be deleted when he is off screen and to uh, make that happen we will open him again and install another behavior that we installed before uh, so we will add behavior and then we will click on is on screen and there's nothing to configure here we'll just click apply and then we will do some programming we'll go to the events and we'll add a new event and uh, the event is enemy and is on screen and if we click this little button to invert the condition uh, the, we are essentially asking if the enemy is not on screen so enemy is not on screen then do what well delete we will search for delete delete the object and select the enemy okay so now 
when our enemy is off screen we can't see it but he is now deleted and doesn't use any more memory okay but we don't want uh, it to look like this because this is boring so we will delete our enemy from the scene and we will double kick our spawner and add to him the spawner behavior so we'll click on object spawner and here are some numbers you can change to make it work the way you want uh, max quantity this uh, if we set this to zero uh, uh, there will be no object spawned, so we'll set this to 1, there can be max be 1 uh, object spawned, uh, if you set this to 10 it will spawn 10, but we want this to just spawn 1 at a time. And uh, the spawn period will be 1 second and we'll click apply. And then we will return to the events to make this object spawner work. We don't want any conditions for this, so we just click add action and then we click the spawner and then we click spawn objects periodically. And uh, then uh, we have the, the object, the spawner will spawn and then we have to choose what it is going to spawn. So we we'll, uh, select the enemy and then click OK. And now when we play our scene, our enemy is uh, spawned periodically from uh, this cannon and when he is off screen there will be a new one because there's max one at a time but if he hits us nothing happens and that is boring as we want it to delete us and to make that possible we will click and add a new event add condition and we'll add a collision so collision between player and an enemy what will happen then? Well, we will search for the delete the object action and delete player. So now when the enemy is spawned and it hits the player and the player is deleted, game over. Okay, but, uh, and you can see the enemy, he doesn't care about that, he just keeps on spawning. But it looks a bit strange now, it looks like he uh, spawns in the middle of the cannon. And uh, let's just adjust that, so he spawns a little bit better. So we'll go back to the spawner, and we'll double click it, and we will check the behaviors. And here, uh, the offset X and off offset Y is uh, where the object will spawn relative to the spawner. So we want another negative x because we want to move to the left. Uh, so let's put that at negative 50. And uh, we also want the y position to move up. So that will also be a negative number. If we put in a positive number, it will move down. And I think we'll put in a negative 10. And then press apply. And let's see how that looks. And it looks uh, quite a lot better. And I got deleted uh, straight away. Okay, but anyway, that's uh, probably all for this short tutorial about how to use the object spawner and how to be effective in your game creation by using these uh, external extensions and external uh, behaviors that you can install. There's lots of things to be found here, so really go here and search before you try to code something with events because there's probably a already done solution for you. All right, take care everyone, have fun game creating, and I'll talk to you soon in another video. Goodbye.